What's up peeps? Today I'm gonna attempt one of my hardest challenges ever in this YouTube channel. We're gonna be running under one of the hottest cities in the world, Cancun, Mexico. So now, it's not the hottest in terms of temperature, but it is gonna be one of the hottest in terms of UV light, which is what determines how powerful the sun rays are, and that's what's really gonna affect us. So on the screen right now, you're gonna see how hot it is. As you guys can see, it's 29 Celsius, so not as hot, but very important at the bottom, it says UV index is gonna be very, very high. So we got a couple clouds here, and that's gonna be my only savior, but again, we're gonna see how far I can run. Again, take a look at my skin tone. Let's see if we get any degree burns. Now, what Google says is that with this, UV index, you'll get sunburned within 20 minutes. So hopefully that doesn't happen to me. Hopefully after 20 minutes, I'm not dying, but we're probably not gonna see that many people running out there, but let's get right into it. All right, so we got sunblock in all our body. I got my phone ready to roll in the Google Fit app so you guys can see and I can track how much I ran. We got a reliable fanny bag ready to put our phone in here. I really don't go jogging that much, but again, and we got our good old reliable Jaybird for the running earbuds. So let's go ahead and start tracking now. I will switch to my phone when I'm recording and I'll give you guys some updates, probably like 10, 15 minutes in to see how I feel and how my body is feeling from the heat. Let's go ahead and start it. Three, two, one. Go. All right, what's up, peeps? So we switched to the uh, phone cam. We've ran about 25 minutes. We are about 3.2 kilometers in. I'll be putting the conversion up in the screen. As you guys can see, the sun right behind me. I don't know where it is. Strong as hell. Now, the way I feel, it's I could feel a little bit tingly, right? Just how they said about in 20 minutes, you'll start getting that sunburn. Again, I did put sunblock. So 20 minutes in, I do feel a little bit skin burn. Not that much, just a little tingling sensation in my back. Uh, not that much there, but we're gonna keep on rolling. We got some basically exercises over here, so we're gonna make this even harder. Also, I didn't bring any water, so that's gonna be a lot harder <laughs> even that, but again, my mind raised no bait, so we're gonna keep moving on. Again, we got a uh, little pull-up machine, so we're gonna do some pull-ups here, increasing that uh, difficulty even more. So let's go ahead and go into that. Uh, I'm dying. This floor is hot as hell. You could cook an egg on this. Uh. All right, so we are about 40 minutes in. I'm about 5.7 kilometers. And my skin has that little tingling sensation now all above my arms, above my uh, shoulders as well. Uh, it's it's kind of weird, I get like shivers. Usually maybe like every 10 minutes, I would get like a little bit of shivers, which is really weird. And again, yeah, it does feel kind of numb sometimes. Uh, as well as you guys can see here at the bottom, where I'm walking in is uh, just pure pavement. So it makes it a lot hotter. I mean, look at that. It's like if I'm running in a sauna, we're gonna keep rolling and see how much we can go. The no water is definitely killing me and the sun is really starting to affect me. Again, I've done runs before. Uh, and I do obviously run a little faster than that, but uh, God damn, the sun here is, is deadly. We're gonna keep on running and I'll show you a little bit of what I'm uh, looking at here while I'm running. Let's keep moving. All right. We are about uh, 55 minutes in. What was it, seven point something kilometers? And I'll do the, the uh, difference through miles. But uh, I'm walking now. Uh, so basically what I feel right now is, uh, my legs do hurt a little bit. I mean, just like if you were going on a normal run, that's not really the big difference. But my breath, especially without water, every breath I exhale, it feels like I'm just pushing out super hot air. Everything around me is hot. The floor is burning. So it just feels like if you're running in a sauna and here, since I am up beside the beach, you get a bit of wind sometimes, which is the greatest thing in existence. I mean, you get a little bit of the wind and you're like, oh my God, thank you. But uh, besides that, after that, we only get a little bit of the trees, which you can see right here. And that's also the best. Uh, sweat is going in my eyes. My eyes are starting to burn. My head does hurt a little bit actually, uh, surprisingly, uh, probably because of the sun. My back now, it's been tingling now, almost halfway through my back now, my shoulders as well. Not full on burn, but I could definitely feel that I've been on the sun for a while. My face, not so much. I think it's also because when I'm, I run a different way, so one way that I run, my back is facing the sun. And then when I run towards the sun, 
I'm looking down. Uh, that's probably why, but yeah, that's what I'm feeling right now. We're gonna do our last final stroll, running straight to my house as fast as I can go. And uh, well, we'll see if we make it. We'll catch you there. Uh, it's deadly. All right, so we are at the end of one hour and 11 minutes again. I think the hardest part was definitely no water and the sun is so hot. I don't know if you guys can see there, but I am definitely sunburnt uh, in my back and in my shoulders, my face I think a little bit as well. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I'm super sunburnt right now. I'll show you guys in the screen what it is. As you guys can see at the start, I started off good and then the energy started declining at the end. The final kilometers were, well, they were all around nine minutes. So like nine minutes, seven minutes, nine minutes and 10, almost the last one. So not too bad, but again, I ran about, what was it? 9.2, 9.1 kilometers, which was pretty good and almost 900 calories. Obviously I didn't have a wristwatch or anything like that, so it's not exact. But but now we are here at uh, Starbucks because we're gonna get their coldest and more sugary drink I can find because I am dying. I mean, it is like, uh, I'll explain to you after, but let's get that drink first. All right, so we got our finally our Starbucks. It's some mango lemonade thing that is the most delicious thing I've had in my entire life. It's actually uh, so cold and my body was so hot that even drinking this feels kind of weird. But my final thoughts, like I was mentioning throughout the video, my head does hurt a little bit. I, I think once you can see it in the shade, I was all, I mean, I'm super red right now. I'm like a full on tomato. Right now there's no shade right here you can see, but I am a full on tomato right now. So I think it was true about the 20 minutes you start getting sunburned. Obviously I had a little bit of sunblock, so that helped out a little bit. I think the sunblock gave me an extra 10 minutes. So after 30 minutes, I started feeling the tingling sensation. After 50 minutes, my whole back was feeling that. Um, we'll obviously have to see once I get back to the house. Uh, but overall right now, I'm feeling a little bit better now that I had the water. But yeah, that was the, the challenge. Definitely do not recommend that you do that. Obviously, I didn't see a single person out there running. Everybody was maybe going on their bikes on the way to work, but not a single person was running out there. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't try this at home and uh, try this Starbucks drink. It's amazing.